guys. So today's video is going to be a random rambles video. I have zero time to film an actual video because I have a lot of work to do this week, like a lot. <laughs> I have visitors coming in from LA, like my work friends who are here this week to really help me with my, my job and future stuff. But I thought I would at least get a little random rambles video in. I don't know. We'll see what happens this week. But one thing I do want to mention, it has been my lifesaver. These three products. These three products have been saving my life recently this month. Well, like the past few weeks, like the past three weeks. And I've used all of these products several times. It's nothing new to me except this. I just recently got this and I have never tried it before. This is the Clorine dry shampoo, but this is the one for oily hair. That's amazing. I've only used their regular one and I like it. It's really good. It's not as good as my Nirvana dry shampoo, but it's really good. But when I saw this one for oily hair, I was like, oh my gosh, I need that. It says cleans hair without water. I love that. And I really feel like it does soak up all of my oils. This is pretty gross. This is pretty gross, but I haven't washed my hair in eight days. <laughs> That's disgusting, I know. And even though it's dirty, I can tell it's dirty. Like you can see that my hair kind of gets stiff. I mean, it's been eight days since I washed it. <laughs> or nine, today's the ninth day. Wow. Even though I can tell it's dirty, it looks so so much cleaner than it did before I used this. And I realized whenever I would use this, my hair would kind of feel, you know how sometimes when you put on dry shampoo, your hair feels a little bit powdery almost? This really helps with that. This is the IGK Speechless Dry Oil Finishing Spray. It's for hair and body. And I just spray it at my ends. Who cares if it gets on your body? Because it's for your body too. It just gives your hair such a beautiful shine, especially after a lot of dry shampoo. So this combination, has been my friend. And then of course I gotta finish it off with a hair perfume. This is my favorite hair fragrance. I have so many of them. And the Toca hair fragrance in Julieta is my favorite. So I just spray a little bit of this on my hair and instantly my hair smells incredible. I will bet you right now, if someone walks by me like a stranger, they would never know it's been eight days since I washed my hair. Especially because it smells so good. Anyway, I know that's super random, but it is a random rambles. I'm just gonna get ready for my day. I have my friends downstairs. Danny's entertaining them right now. I'm just gonna throw on a little bit of makeup, briefly discuss things because I do have a few new things here I wanna show you. And this is kind of like my second impressions because I have tried a few of these once already. There's only like three things in here I haven't tried yet. I'll talk as I go. Anyway, I'm actually gonna get started with this. I haven't tested this out yet, but I am so intrigued by this. It's the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist from Glow Recipe. I have tried a few things from this brand in the past and I've never been blown away, to be honest. There's something about this brand that makes me feel weird. Like I'm always under the impression that the moisturizer is gonna leave my face sticky. Like, I don't know, something about watermelon juice in my products makes me nervous. But this is supposed to be really hydrating and beautiful on the skin. It has hyaluronic acid in it, it has hibiscus in it. It's supposed to refresh your skin. It's supposed to be great for dryness and redness and all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna give it a little shake because if you don't shake it up, you will see like the watermelon flow up to the top. It's very strange. But yesterday when I got it in the mail, cause this was sent to me, I did like a spray test and oh my gosh, look at this. Look at that fine mist. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm beautiful. Oh. It's worth it for this mist alone. Look at this. Oh my God. It's so fine on the skin that it doesn't even feel like you apply anything to your face. It's crazy. You can go on for days pressing down on this thing. It feels so nice and hydrated. I am just crazy about sprays. I love setting sprays, primer sprays. I like to spray things. All right, and I'm gonna go in with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I used this yesterday for the first time and I was truly shocked at how beautiful my skin looked at the end of the day. I was wearing a foundation I've used several times. It's actually a foundation that I have dogged in the past. I have been wearing my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation only because it does make me look really oily really fast throughout the day. I don't know why, because I have dry skin. But because of that, I thought it was a great idea to take it to Colorado since it's so damn cold there, ain't no type of humidity like it is in Miami. And I thought, you know what? That foundation might work really well for me in the cold. And it really, really did. It did not get greasy on me like it does here in Miami. So I was so, so excited about that. But then last night I used it here in Miami and I used this primer first. And at the end of the night, my skin looked gorgeous. I was just so impressed last night. 
it feels really tacky on the skin i feel like that's very popular these days these gripping kind of primers like cover effects just recently came out with their gripping primer and it's very very similar where it feels tacky on the skin and it kind of feels like a glue Oh, I'm not wearing any brow gel. No wonder. I was like, why are my brows looking weird? Like if they're fading. Nude Sticks brow gel keeps these bad boys in place all freaking day. Best gel to ever exist. Nude Sticks. I know you don't watch my videos, but can I get this by itself? Please. Please. I'll pay the same price. I'll pay the same price. I swear. Just kidding. I want this by itself. Maybe not the same price. I would normally put on another layer of foundation, like just a little bit more, but I'm not going anywhere fancy, so not that I ever do. I'm gonna take my Jouer Essential Concealer, it's my favorite, and pop that on. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I told you guys, but I finally got a new vlogging camera. It's the one I'm filming on right now, can you tell? I don't have like a weird, beautiful filter over it, over my face. The other camera I was using was the Sony A5100. It was like very popular a couple years ago. I feel like everybody had that camera, but it always left my skin with this beauty filter. And I know a lot of you guys were teaching me how to take it off, but I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna take off the beauty filter. I'm just gonna buy a new camera because every time I would put that Sony camera on my little box here, I have a random box holding up this camera. I sh probably should get a tripod. That's more professional. But every time I would put my Sony on this box, it would heat up. It would shut off and stop recording and it was getting really annoying. So I just got a new camera. I asked my friend Britta and she told me to get the Canon G7X. So that's what I got. It's really good for vlogging because the camera is so little and portable, but the quality is really, really nice. Not like I vlog much, but you know, for pictures and stuff, I wanna up my game on Instagram. I'm like the, the worst Instagrammer to ever exist. But it's just hard for me because I am not a picture person. I know that seems weird, but a lot of the times when I go places, I forget to take photos. Have you guys seen the new limited edition hula from Benefit? This is their cold classic bronzer. Everybody loves it, or everybody loved it back in the day. I feel like I haven't heard anyone talk about it recently. But they came out with this giant one. Like this is their regular one. This is actually another new one they came out with. It's the hula caramel supposed to be like a much warmer version of hula i am gonna use a little bit of this on my face as well but look at the size this is much bigger and much better in my opinion this shouldn't be limited edition they should make hula this size all the time because sometimes really big bronzer brushes don't fit in these little boxes i feel like they should also make it thinner they should keep these boxes going i mean it's their it's their thing but look at the space look where the bronzer ends and look at all this space up here like this is a fat box i like the idea of the box i just think we should make it thinner like half of it and then it would be like a 2019 version of hula you know I mean, hey, Benefit, I'm no one to judge. I don't, I don't conform with the times either. People love to tell me that on my channel. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of the caramel hula just to test it out. I do feel like it's way too warm for my skin tone, but let's just test it out. Oh yeah, it's caramel. Do your breakup. Do you know how much you are, Makeup Forever? You know how much you cost me for that disrespect? <laughs> okay, let me try to blend this out. I'm gonna take a little bit of this LA Girl Island Hottie blush palette with that same broken Makeup Forever brush I used. And I am just gonna like, I'm gonna focus it more on the orangey side, not so much the pinky side, but still dipping into all of them. Really, really pretty, especially the orangey ones. For highlight, I'm gonna take a little bit of this RMS Beauty Luminizing Powder. Have you guys ever tried RMS Beauty? I just like to add a little bit of this, like all over my cheek, to kind of create a soft overall glow. And it's so natural that you can pretty much put this anywhere, but it still gives you a glow. To highlight the tippy tops of my cheekbones, I'm gonna use Melt Stargazer. And this is the highlight brush from It Cosmetics. The one that's like exclusive to Ulta. On my eyes, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Riviera palette, but I'm gonna go really, really simple with my eye look. I know everyone's been doing really fun, bold looks with this, but since it's not a tutorial or anything, I just wanna get like a very natural, everyday look, which is totally achievable 
with this palette. It kind of gives you a little bit of both, that really intense color and then the everyday shades as well. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. eyeliner that Jake Hissa made. It's a really, really pretty tealy blue. I'm gonna use the highlight in the J Kissa palette, this one, because the Riviera palette doesn't have like a shimmery highlight. Okay, before I finish up, before I go in with my mascara and my lip, I'm gonna set my face with this bad boy. This is so good. I mean, I've only used it once. I used it last night, but it left my skin so dewy. And at first when I saw this, I thought that there was glitter in the actual formula, but this is just the packaging. There is actually no glitter particles or sparkle in the actual setting spray, which I like. It just kind of gives your skin a really plump, plump, juicy, extra, extra dewy glow. I love how that smells. And it's not a super fine mist like the Glow Recipe one. This mist is to die for. This is a little bit thicker. It has a little bit more <laughs> thicker. It has more oomph to the spray. Like you get a lot more product on your skin. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but I'm dewy. Look at this. Look at this, look at this. It makes your skin feel so plump, but it doesn't completely dry down. This kind of remains a little bit tacky throughout the day. So if that's gonna bother you, you're not gonna like this at all. But you know what? Even though my face stayed sticky throughout the day, it did get less sticky the longer I wore it and my face didn't slide off. It didn't get greasy, oily, like it didn't get disgusting. I'm just applying my Velvet Primer from Marc Jacobs and then I'm gonna go in with my Dangerous Lengths Mascara from Milani. And then for my lip, I'm going in with my Pat McGrath Done Undone. And then I'm gonna pop on the new Persona Honey Lip Gloss on top. Ooh, this gloss smells really good. Got a little finger trick and we're done. This was a quick little get ready with me kind of. I have just been testing out a lot of new makeup recently and I've been loving a lot of it. But anyway guys, I'm just gonna run downstairs. I've been up here way too long. I'm just gonna pop on some perfume just in case we go somewhere for lunch or something. This is a brand new perfume to me. I cannot get over this packaging. Look at this. I'm not gonna lie, this is the main reason why I bought it. Thankfully, this smells so delicious. I'm gonna leave the notes for you right here. It's called Bea Rosa from Oscar de la Renta and it smells, oh my God, so good. It kind of reminds me of YSL's Black Opium, but a little bit more floral. Not like roses, I know it's called Bella Rosa, but it's not like rose scent. It's like a very sweet rose. It's so freaking good. The only thing is I don't know if it lasts a super long time on my skin. So I have to check back on that. I'm not super sure about that, but the scent is amazing. And by the way, I am obsessed with this necklace. This is from CEO, my sister's jewelry company. She has like these new Cuban links. 
and they are so damn cute. By the way, I'm sure there's an actual name for this type of necklace, but here in Miami, we call them Cuban links, where they kind of look like a more masculine chain. Masculine? I don't know the word I'm looking for. But you get me, it's like a thicker chain, and my sister just put my little name, Kat, and I love it. I'm really into these thicker chains these days. This mascara always gets on my lower freaking lash line. It drives me crazy. Anyway, okay, 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 I'm gonna go now. I will talk to you guys soon. Today's the day I'm supposed to post this video. I'm wearing one of those blue light glasses because I was just editing a bunch. My final cut was acting weird. I accidentally erased so many clips from the vlog. I was gonna show you so many things. I was gonna show you my friend Jenny did some yoga with us this weekend. And so this vlog became really pointless because I had so many things I wanted to show you and I can't now. I am having a day. I can't even begin to tell you the day I'm having. Oh my God, I need a lot of coffee right now. I'm just, it's, it's been a day. This is what you're getting today. This is what I've got. I'm sorry. I'll be back Wednesday. See ya later.